all the humongous building and everything everything is so so unique even those little windows right near the roof are made of wood with small holes maybe for people to be able to actually see outside well let's carry on and uh, find some other interesting things in saint anton i actually don't know how to exactly pronounce this it's Sviati Sviati Anton or something like this. Let's hopefully find somebody who actually speaks Slovak and ask. Hello. Coffee? I'm making the coffee. I don't know. Can I fill with card here? Can I, can no, with no, 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 no card. Oh. Bye bye. Cafe Rinku. Unfortunately, they are not accepting debit cards, credit cards, and since we just arrived yesterday here, we don't have any Slovak currency. And the closest ATM is in Banska Stjavnica, six kilometers away from here, which we're going to see tomorrow. <laughs> Look at those nice benches. It seems that many things here in St. Anton village have hearts in them. Like the toilet that we saw up there in the forest, and those benches, and maybe other things as well. More hearts. This is one of the places that I wanted to visit and show to you, but uh, it seems to be locked. It's 4 p.m. already, so it's probably too late for some of the things here to be still open. So we're going to continue over there to the church and hopefully we can get there and see what's the feeling of a true Slovak church in a small village. An interesting fact about the village here is that during the communist times here in Slovakia it had a different name, Anto. Why? Because the village was basically not allowed to have a Christian name. So it had to be non-Christian and obviously they came up with the idea of Anto. What a beauty is the church in this village. It will be amazing to have a quick look inside. Huh. Or do I see a light inside the door? Let's build some anticipation before trying to actually enter. Outside we have this beautiful candle, some flowers. I suspect in name of Michal Buzalka. And now I hear clapping. Can you imagine if we get inside in this cold winter evening in a small church in the village and actually inside there is a choir performing and people listening? Guess, make, make your bets. Let's check it out. I was able to count 120 persons inside and I'm sure there were more. There were children in the smelling of perfume, bright lights and this beautiful singing in a small anonymous village in Slovakia. This is how a village should be. You know, I feel this is the best moment to tell you what is this whole journey that I'm doing, hitchhiking from Sofia, Bulgaria, all the way to Banska Stjavnica in Slovakia. 
you know, there is a place there, it's called the Bank of Love. And with the dearest person to my heart, with the love of my life, we were there last year. This is a place where we can leave a box. And in this box you can leave some pictures, some letters, something that you want for your love to be remembered with. Something to come back to with your children, maybe one day, together, and to remember. Those boxes are being kept in this bank of love. And uh, you can see it in my channel, we can see our trip actually. Well, we did got separated this year, a few months ago. And I truly love this person so much that I'm going to visit the bank of love alone, but with her in my heart once again. I would like to leave something very special in our box. And I hope in my heart that one day we will return here together with her as a family. And we'll see our box once again. So, that was a quick moment of truth for you. Let's continue over and find something something to drink, something to eat. Wow, an old house. And check this out. Between the two main windows of the house, there is a small, much smaller window, which I think is to put a candle and an icon there. <laughs> oh, you're scary. And the roads road here in this village are made very interestingly. Check this out. There is no sidewalk. There is a street, obviously, and there is this like water canal to the side. So for the most part, I mean here it's a little bit better, you can actually walk on, on the grass, but for the most part the canal is right next to the street. So you're pretty much walking on the road. Not designed with pedestrians in mind, Slovakia. There's a super angry dog, which you can probably hear. So it's minus two degrees Celsius, yes. You know what, let's go back to our warm, cozy, pretty nice local hotel here and drink some Tatra tea, some warm drinks, some garlic soup. Better than walking on the barren roads of Sveti Anton. It's pretty lonely, check it out. Da, da, da. Let's better go home, huh? Let's do it. Good, homey hotel place. I think my extreme energy has been depleted a little bit in the previous days. Did I show you this little bit lamb here? I think not really. It's so beautiful. And for me, don't worry. There is some Tatra tea inside and garlic soup. What else can a man want? I'm frozen. As I've said, don't worry about me. Here in this restaurant, they have all of my favorite things. Bread, bread with garlic. It comes like this. Garlic soup. Some borovicka, which happens to be something like, like vodka pretty much, but uh, it, I think it's with pineapple needles or something. It smells a little bit like pineapple. Also, the Slovak Coca-Cola version called Kufova. And uh, I just saw they were bringing somebody's, somebody else like a bread with onions and something else. And I was like, I want one of that. So we're going to try this out as well. A very nice restaurant. And uh, life is returning to me. I feel much warmer. Oh, wow. Look at what just came. I have definitely found my world. Bread with onions and uh, it's something like like butter, but uh, it's different. I don't know what's the word for that. Let's give it a try. Oh, oh man. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Look what else just came. This is like this is like the the breaded thing that they make dumplings out of, I think. And uh, we have some cabbage, like sour cabbage, 
and uh, a few rolls of uh, some salami kind of thing. I think it's it smells delicious. Let's try it out. I mean, it's a little bit hot still, but I'll get a little bit. Mm. Classical Slovak cuisine. Not very bold taste. Salty, definitely, and uh, has like a, a smoked, smoked flavor. I think it's from the meat. Oh, let's try one of those. Mm. With some cabbage. Mm. And some borovicka. You know, I think I'm going to end this video here. Enough food vlogging for today. So definitely, I will see you tomorrow. Banska Stjavnica awaits us.